Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the power flow of salient pole alternator. So generally, we have the two types of alternator. One is the cylindrical pole. Another one is the salient pole. So in this session, we will discuss power flow of salient pole alternator. So how much of power is developed across the salient pole alternator we will discuss here. Just look at the salient pole alternator phasor diagram is like this. So this is the uh, this is the V. V is the output voltage. V is the load voltage generally and for some phase angle phi armature current will be developed. This is the load current. Armature current will be divided into two parts. One is direct axis current. Another one is the quadrature axis current. So maybe you can take this is the quadrature axis current IQ. Direct axis current is somewhat parallel. Quadrature axis current is somewhat 90 degrees with the direct axis current. Just look at here. Both are 90 degrees. And this is the E. E means open circuit voltage. The voltage developed across the armature open circuit terminals with with uh, without load. So without load condition is the E. So to get that E, we can divide into two parts. Here V is available. Mm, here V is available. This is known as V cos del, and this is known as V sin del. Because just apply the just apply the cos across this. Um, opposite uh, the, that is adjacent side by hypotenuse hypotenuse is the V so adjacent side is we will get V cos del and here we have the V sin del here we have the V sin del okay so so to find out this E value E is nothing but this point to this point is the E so here we have the ID so exact opposite we have direct axis reactance except so that's why we I will draw this drop as ID XD ID XD and for this exact 90 degrees we have the another drop IQ XQ IQ means quadrature axis current XQ means quadrature axis reactance reactance so from this finally we can give the conclusion we can give the conclusion the value of the E is like this E equal to, just observe here V cos del plus this length this length must be is equal to the ID XT so I will write here the total open circuit voltage across armature is like this that is the V cos del plus ID XT ID XT from this we can write direct axis current value id equal to e minus v cos del by xt v cos del by xt so this is e minus v cos d remaining id xt is available from this id divided by this this is the id xt id xt so this is the formula for the direct axis current and what about iq so just observe here both are in same length this iq xq and v sin del both are in the same length so from this i will write v sin del equal to iq xq iq xq because both are in same length from this i will write the iq quadrature axis current equal to v sin del by xq v sin del by xq so this is the quadrature axis current quadrature axis current so we are getting two two current equations one id id is e minus v cos del by xt another one is iq v sin del by xq but what is our requirement our requirement is the power flow power flow means we want to write for the active power active power equation so active power equation is like this active power p equal to direct axis current with component of voltage along direct axis so from the direct axis how much of voltage is available 
Next is quadrature axis current with that component of voltage along the quadrature axis. So how much the value is available. So from this we will write the power equal to the power equal direct axis current value we have here that is E minus V cos del by V cos del by XT into component along uh, direct axis so look at where is the direct axis this is direct axis component along direct axis we can write v sign there just look at here component along direct axis for, from direct axis parallel series value that is v sign del plus quadrature axis current quadrature axis current value equal to v sign del by xq xq into component along quadrature axis that is nothing but v cos del is nothing but the v cos del okay so from this we can modify the equation is like this that is the the power value equal to finally we can write like this the power equal to e into v by xd sin del one thing the another value is v into v is v square mm the sin del into cos del sin del into cos del by xd next another value equal to v into v v square into sin del into cos del by xq cos del by xq so by by using this equation we can modify the the final equation is like this the equation will become finally like this that is ev xd by sin del so ev xd by sin del here if we common if we common the sin del cos del we will get minus sin del cos del sorry we 1 by x cube minus 1 by sin 2 del finally we will get this equation that equation value is like this the equation value equal to ev into sin del by xd plus v square by 2 1 by x q minus 1 by x t sin 2 del okay this is called we can divide into two parts so one is electromagnetic power and another power this power is called reluctance power this this power is called the reluctance power yes okay so this electromagnetic power P means uh, complete we will write this electromagnetic power electro and magnetic power this is okay what about this the reluctance power reluctance power so generally reluctance power 15 to 20 percent of the total power this value how much it has Generally, it has the 15 to 20 percent of of the total power. So, in the total power, the 15 to 20 percent of the power is the reluctance power only. Okay. So, we will write here. Reluctance power is independent of excitation. Generally, reluctance power doesn't depends on the excitation. This is the important thing. It is referred only infinite pass. It is related to only the infinite bus. This is the thing. So when field excitation is zero, then flux of the system will be zero, and the E value will also be zero. When the E value will become zero, then the electromagnetic power is also zero. So what about the remaining power? Remaining power is known as the reluctance power. The remaining power is known as the reluctance power. So finally, when excitation will become zero, the power value is like this. The power value is V square by 2 into 1 by XQ minus 1 by XD into sine total. Into sine total. Just look at here. The power value equal to V square by 2 into 1 by XQ minus 1 by XD into sine total. So this is the so this is the power the complete power this is known as the the complete power 
so from this when the reluctance power will become zero then automatically the total power is available like this okay right so this is about power flow of salient pole alternator and in this we will finally conclude that the power flow is two types one is electromagnetic power another one is the reluctance power so when the excitation is zero but the um, alternator is having the reluctance power having the reluctance power that is the formula okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you